comment right now if you think I'm gonna dunk on him. You ready? What about when you miss it? What? What about when you miss it? You still gotta subscribe. <laughs> this is how you can dunk the ball if you can't dunk the ball. Does that make sense? <laughs> I put this up in my last vlog. Um, that I want to give this away because the channel is doing so well. I like 50 plus <laughs> had like 50 plus people comment and DM me and message me about this. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna give this away. Okay, check it out. But what you have to do? You have to like this video. You have to comment why you like the channel. You have to go follow me on Instagram down here somewhere. Prop the door open with my shoe because you know you never know. Even though there's a door. Somewhere. So holy shit! My last video did very very well. Um, so first off, thank you. Got over a hundred likes. So thank you to the people that like the video. Thank you to the people that watch the video. Thank you to everybody. Even the dislikes still motivating me. There was a comment on the last video. By the way, we're out of the gym because um, there's people playing over there. There was a comment on that last video that I filmed um, about how good you have to be in high school. Although he was definitely promoting himself, James Steinberger. He had a very good point I wanted to show because I think like this needs to be heard. 3.4% of high school athletes, fuck me, fuck. 3.4% of high school basketball players play division one, two, or three. I'd argue that D3 players are just as skilled as D1. Yet the main difference is the size and athleticism. That's not to say there aren't very athletic guys in D3 who are 6'5", and there aren't unathletic guys in D1 who are 6'3". But it's a general guideline. I have four D3 offers right now. While on visit to these schools, I played pickup with the teams and it's no joke. You rarely are able to get an open look from three. And conversely, if you think you're close enough to your man, you're not because they're gonna pop a three in your face. Division three basketball is very high level and anyone who tells you differently is misinformed. I'm very lucky to have any offers as I know several all conference, all state, all top. Ooh, I just can't read honestly. Like reading is a flaw of mine. Top scores and etc players who have no offers. But yeah, I mean, this is 3.4%. I'm pretty sure somebody in one of my classes is actually working on a project like this where they're showing um, how hard it is to play like a college sport no matter what sport it is. And Division three basketball, I believe, is like 1.7%, which is crazy because it's 1.5%, 1.5% play Division two and Division one. Yeah, we're not giving that much of uh, We're not giving that much credit. Since we're not giving any credit, this is for you. <laughs> I'm not really sure what today's video was going to be about. I just think that what he commented needed to be said because it's that there's some levels that aren't given enough credit, whether that's junior college, NAIA, D1, D2, or D3. Everybody deserves credit to where they are positioned, and I'm just grateful to be in my position. So, this for you. You want it? Go do all of those things. And uh, Julian, stand under the hoop. I'm gonna dunk on you. Comment right now if you think I'm gonna dunk on him. You ready? That's it. That's a short video. Just uh, go do the hoodie stuff, and I think that needed to be said about Division One, Division Two, and Division Three sports. How close are you zoomed in on my face right now? Very. Last sequence. Is this for the vlog. Okay, we'll be doing the hoodie giveaway in the next vlog. I'll enter your name after you do all those things. DM me when it's all finished. And uh. Damn.
That dude really in there shot the lights out. That's a bad joke.